All right, I went a little crazy with cardio. Did about 35 minutes on the bike and 30 minutes on the elliptical. Um, I kind of did the meathead thing and I was punishing myself because uh, the whole time I was on the bike, I was like, I don't want to do this. I want to ease up. And I was like, no, nah, don't be a bitch. And so I was like, just because you're having those thoughts and you're really close to acting on them, you got to do more cardio. So I punished myself and I did more cardio. Now it's uh, time to start arms. I said push downs. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to switch it. We're going to start with tricep overhead tricep extensions. All right, overhead tricep extensions. Whew. Let's get started. The reason I uh, I decided not to do push downs is because I really like the overhead tricep extensions, um, which so I was wanting to do that. But I also want to do the um, cross body tricep extensions, and doing both of those, I thought I figured would be enough for a tricep workout. But someone's using the uh, cables right now, so. If they're still using the cables when I'm when I switch exercises, uh, I'll do something else instead. Maybe I'll just do those push downs. But, uh, okay, my arms were shaking for like the second half of my set. Whoa. Ooh, it's opened up. Okay, so cross body tricep extensions, as you could tell from the previous set you just watched. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter what the exercise, if you're doing them slow, uh, it sucks. It, this is making me hate the gym so much. Like I said, uh, the more I do it like this, the more I hate the gym, but the better the payoff feels. So the, my hatred for the gym grows, but my love for the gym grows even more. So uh, yeah, if you want to hate yourself, or sorry, hate the gym more, try this style out. Ooh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe some people enjoy the actual pain they're feeling while they're doing the set. I don't. I live for the payout, the payoff. Okay. One more set and then we'll move on to biceps. It's almost midnight. I might skip traps again. We'll see. I really do need to uh, not be skipping 
so many muscle groups all the time. Although I feel like my delts I can get away with because I have pretty decently developed delts compared to the rest of my body. Right, I don't like working out in this area because the music's too loud, but I like these cables for certain exercises, cross-body tricep extensions, uh, hammer curls. So along with that, we're doing hammer curls. <sighs> All right. This is my first time trying a lot of these exercises in this new method. And uh, it's really opening my eyes to how much I hate this. But we do things we don't like in order to improve ourselves. This, uh, when, I, when, I, when I do these slow reps, I know I keep talking about it, but when I do these slow reps, it's hard to gauge how much weight I should use because those first few reps, you're like, ugh, this is light as shit. But then all of a sudden, it's like, wait a second, rep six was pretty hard. And then rep seven, you know, your muscle starts sh shaking and aching. And then rep eight, I can barely get it out. And rep nine, maybe it's the last rep possible. And then rep 10 doesn't exist. So it's really hard to gauge the proper weight.
All right, so the next exercise, incline dumbbell curls. So, do you know how much of a blow it is to my ego to have to curl 17 and a half pounds when I was, you know, doing 35, 40 pounds relatively with good form and with a relative slow pace. But now that I'm practically working out in slow motion, I'm having to drop that weight in half. Yeah, yeah. This is what I mean. It takes a, a lot of mental fortitude to uh, set aside your ego. All right, let's get to it. Alright, last set, best set, right guys? I did want to mention, I, while I was doing cardio, I got the news that uh, so I was scrolling through TikTok. One of the guys, I mean the guy's half my age, I think, but one of the fitness people on TikTok that I first found, uh, his name is Bax, Baxter. He was like a fat guy that lost a bunch of weight. He was quite the personality. And he um, would do a lot of like reviews on food and stuff like that, or like hacks for like diet foods and whatnot. Uh, he recently passed away, like very recently. Today, yesterday, which is very sad um, because he was a, a, a little part of my weight loss fitness journey. Um, so it was kind of hard to hear. It's very shocking. Uh, him and his friend, Steven, um, didn't really know much about his friend, but him, Baxter, I did uh, watch a lot of his videos and he did help me somewhat. So it just goes to show like, you know, tomorrow's never promised. It really isn't. He was a young guy. Um, so if you want to do something, just start doing it. You want to go to the gym? Go to the gym today. You want to eat right? Start today. Don't wait for tomorrow. You know? All right. Last set, best set. That's it. All right. I'll catch you in the change room. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's check the pump. Okay. Oh my God. Spine cracked already. Hey. It's not much, but I'm seeing a little lumpy. Ooh, oh, that makes me happy. Ooh. Ooh. Tricep. Ooh. How about the mangles? How about that one? Other side. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that tricep is a poppin'. Well, that gets me excited. What's that other one? I tried it the other day. This one? Uh -huh. I don't know shit. All right. Um, 
going to go. My apologies. You didn't hear shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go film the car talk, so I'll see you in a second. Because um, I forgot to do it earlier. All right, I'm going to get changed, film a little TikTok, and then I'll see you in a second. All right, it's gonna be a quick talk. Uh, that I just had a stroke. Um, it's gonna be a quick car talk because I did have a little tip. I don't know if it's a tip, a little piece of advice for you if you're trying to lose weight. So, what should you do if you want to lose weight? Get a grill, or like a barbecue. It is the best investment for food if you're trying to lose weight. All right. So let's say you're cooking a chicken breast, you're cooking it in a pan, you cook it with some butter, some oil. You're not going to use just like quick spray of butter, quick spray of oil, and that's good. You can cook a chicken on your pan like that. No, you got to lather it in oil if you want to cook it right. Or you can bake it with a little bit of oil or no oil, have a nice boring piece of chicken. Or you can boil your chicken if you're a psychopath. But one thing you could do is if you have a barbecue, preferably a, a propane barbecue, because you can just flick it on. Um, but with a propane barbecue, or just with a barbecue in general, you just have to spray the grill. You don't have to spray the chicken. Uh, I mean, you do a little bit, but you just have to spray the chicken a little bit. And it's literally just a spray. And you're really not spraying that much oil on the chicken. And then you get a nice charred piece of chicken with some nice grill marks. You get more flavor that way. There's more flavor when you're cooking it on the grill with some open flames. You can grill up some vegetables. You can So you can meal prep your proteins on the grill. You can bake some uh, potatoes. You can just have plain baked potatoes or you can roast some potatoes. But your proteins, like if you have salmon, or if you have chicken, you have steaks, cook it on a grill. You save so many calories in the amount of oil, the fats that you would use to cook your meat in. Um, sure, there's more flavor if you cook it in a pan, but there's so much more fat. So my advice to you, cook with a grill. Whether it's summer, winter, whatever, hopefully you can grill outside under a cover if not sorry but if so go for it and if you can't you can only do it in the summer do it in the summer okay you know they say summer bodies are made in the winter but maybe you want to have a good body all year round all right even when you're bulking you want to have a nice body right it shouldn't be, mm, I'm bulking, I'm going to get fat as shit. No, when you're bulking, you still look good. You just look a little bigger. You shouldn't get really fat. When you're bulking, people shouldn't look at you and go, that's a fat piece of shit right over there. No, people should be like, oh man, that guy's huge. But mean it in a muscular way. Um, that's something that's weird for me that I had to get used to. I've had a few people say like, oh man, you're huge. When I was fat, nobody would say you're huge because they when say when they would say you're huge, they would mean you're huge because you're so fat. Um, but now when people say you're huge, it's a compliment. They're telling me how muscular I am, which pff, it blows my mind. I'm still like, oh yeah, I am fat. But then I know that they don't mean that I, after like, you know, a second. But initially I'm like, oh, I'm a fat piece of shit. Mm, Shamu. But yeah, it is something to get used to. Um, my girlfriend does tell me all the time about you need positive affirmations in your life if you want to have a different outlook on life, which is true. And if I wanted to work on myself, that is something I need to do. I don't do that enough. I do the opposite. I go, oh man, I'm a fat, I'm, I'm, I'm fat ass, I'm, I'm fatty, I'm, I'm a little tub of lard, I'm mm, jiggly jello. I shouldn't say that. I should, you know, be nicer to myself. I should speak, I was a C-bum said recently, I saw, I was watching like a, a Lean Beef Patty, Patty's YouTube channel and C-bum said, speak 
only speak positively or something about yourself or truths that help you. So don't say like he was talking about public speaking. Don't be like, oh, I'm, I'm scared of public speaking. I'm scared of this because then you're just making it. Uh, you're speaking those words into truth. You're putting that energy out there. And then you're not really creating a positive outcome. You want to create that positive outcome by, by saying, I am nervous for this public speaking, but I am excited to rise to the occasion. Right? Different. Same, but different. But not the same. And different. Uh, I don't know why I went on that little tangent. But yeah, my girlfriend's right. Be nicer to yourselves. I need to be nicer to myself. I know I'm doing a good job. I'm not doing as good of a job as I would as I had imagined I would do. But I'm still on the right path. Okay. All right. That's enough talking for today. Use your grill. Summer's coming up. Eat your watermelon. Eat your strawberry. Use a grill. Just eat watermelon, strawberries. Yeah, yeah. That's eating, not, you know. Um, yeah, and grill your meats and your veggies. Who doesn't like the flavor of a nice grilled protein? Okay, you have a good one. I'm going to have a good one. Also, there might not be a video tomorrow because I am at work all day. We'll see. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow or the day after. All right. Have a good workout. Enjoy your cardio. Hopefully, you don't hate the gym anymore. Hopefully, you love the gym more. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.